What to do when obstacles seem like too much? Coming out of 2020, you probably know what it's like to feel overwhelmed by the sheer size or amount of obstacles on your plate. Although obstacles are necessary to help you grow, they certainly can be challenging, leading you to feel inadequate, distraught, and overwhelmed. Luckily, there are some things you can do to help manage the obstacles in front of you. In this tutorial, I'm going to tell you three things to do when obstacles seem like too much. Let's get started. 1. Take a deep breath. Whenever you begin to feel overwhelmed by obstacles, your body will likely show some physical signs. For example, your chest may become tight, breathing become more rapid, and body start to shake. Although these physical signs are not in and of themselves dangerous, they can pose health risks on down the line, and they aren't comfortable in the moment. Instead of dwelling on the obstacles you feel overwhelmed by, simply take a deep breath. Take a couple deep breaths if you need to. Simply breathe in and out to relax your body and give it some much-needed oxygen. Breathing deeply will lessen the feelings of anxiety that come with feeling overwhelmed by your obstacles. Breathing deeply is also just good for your overall well-being. Aim to make your exhale longer than inhale for optimal results. 2. Focus on what you can control. Whenever people feel overwhelmed by their obstacles, it is likely because they feel out of control with their life. As humans, we want to control everything. Obstacles remind us that we simply are not as in control of our lives as we would like to be. If this is why you feel overwhelmed by your obstacles, focus on something you can control instead. This may include your water intake, the food you put in your body, how you present yourself, reading a book, or anything else you have control over. Focusing on what you can control will take away the immediate signs of anxiety associated with obstacles. It may also boost your confidence, sense of self-love, and willingness to invest in your own life. 3. Look at the positives. Finally, the last way to help manage feelings of stress from your obstacles is to look at the positives. No matter how bleak the obstacle or situation may be, there's always a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel. Focus on the positives to relax your mind. One positive of any obstacle is that it challenges you to become a better person. If you can't think of any other positive of your situation, fall back on this one. The obstacle is turning you into a stronger and more capable person. Chances are, however, there are other benefits as well. For example, if you got laid off at work, you can think that you now have more time to focus on your personal interests and hobbies. Though this won't take away the sting of getting laid off, it will make the sting slightly more tolerable. Whenever you look at the positives, you aren't just rejecting the bad. Instead, you have a much more realistic and adult view of the situation, which involves both positives and negatives. Final thoughts. Next time you feel overwhelmed by your obstacles, take a deep breath. Focus on what you can control or look at the positives. Better yet, try a combination of all three techniques to help you calm yourself down and approach the obstacles more rationally once again. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.